Hello students, in my previous lecture we had begun with the story Grief by Anton Chekhov. I had given you an introduction to the story and uh, explained to you how Chekhov, the author, conveys the sense of sorrow at man's insensitivity or inhumanity to man. I hope you all know the meaning of grief which can also come as a short question for your exam. Like give the meaning of the title grief. So grief is a mental or emotional distress which is experienced by someone who has lost a loved one. So it's a kind of a torment or a pain that one experiences. And here in this story, the main character, Iona Potapov, who is a cab driver, has also experienced grief in the loss of his only son and he is looking for someone to whom who could, he could unburden his feeling of loss but he has not been able to find anyone and as the story progresses we'll see how no one has time for Iona Potatov to give him a year and to listen to his pain. So at the end of unit one, we had seen that Iona, the cab driver, is waiting while the snow is falling and waiting for a fare. Fare not only means the money that is charged for uh, taking a ride in a vehicle but fare also means a passenger. Now this is the st setting of the story is in 18th century so the words, the meanings uh, of some of the uh, words have changed in the sense that in the present times we don't use those same words in the sense that they were used in those times and here cab in the sense cab also over here in the present time is referred to as a taxi but in those days cab drivers were people who uh, drove horse driven carriages now there were different kind of carriages one horse driven carriage two horse driven carriage and four horse driven carriage in this story Iona is riding a one horse driven carriage. So at the end of unit one, we saw that he's waiting for uh, a fare that is some passenger. And uh, he hears someone calling out for going to, going through the Weiborg way. In unit two, Iona uh, takes this officer uh, who has his hood over his head. He agrees to take him to the Weiborg way. And uh, as he picks up the reins of his horse, the horse also is a very intelligent horse. He takes the cue from his master and he gives himself a shake and uh, the layers of snow slip off from his back and neck and after making a noise a sound with his lips which is a signal for the horse to start moving the horse moves unsteadily undecidedly but uh, uh, Iona is not able to 
maintain his balance or is trying to maintain his equilibrium because the horse suddenly takes off fast and uh, people are heard swearing and cursing and uh, being angry at him because the horse is moving at a very reckless pace at one point his carriage uh, uh, almost hit another private carriage and a passer by was almost run over so so he was looked at furiously and cursed at but uh, iona was not in his right state of mind he was trying to maintain a mental balance but inside he had a kind of uh, a suffocating feeling and he did not understand why he was still alive and this we know is because of the extreme grief that he was experiencing and uh, as he moves on the officer asks him something but uh, ayuna is not able to respond no sound comes from his mouth but he does try to twist his mouth into a smile and say something hoarsely and the only thing that comes out from his mouth is when he admits to the officer that his son baron had died the previous evening the officer asks him what did he die of ayona thinks that someone is interested to know about him and turns him his own whole body towards him and tells him that uh, he had high fever was in the hospital for 3 days and then he had died but again since his attention was off from the road the horse again drives recklessly and is at the point of hitting another carriage and there is more cursing and by the time he takes control of the horse and turns himself back to the officer the officer has closed his eyes and uh, apparently is not disposed or interested to listen to him finally he deposits the officer at viborg and stops by a tavern now tavern is a place where uh, people or guests are lodged and food and drinks are served so he waits over there in the hope that uh, someone from the tavern would hire him and uh, he would be paid again so he waits in his seat and the snow once again begins to cover him and his horse for about 2 hours he is waiting there almost covered with snow and then on the footpath he hears the sound of uh, people coming and he sees three young men who are quarreling among themselves two of them tall and lanky and a third one short and humpbacked and they come towards him here ends the unit 2 and we'll continue with the third unit next time